All right, guys, uh, I just found something and I needed to make this video super quick because it's urgent news and information in case the market does decide it's going to dump down some more after this, you know, last 24 hour rally or whatever. Uh, this is super important. Uh, so stick around till the very end. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions or anything, leave a comment. I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll respond as soon as I see it. And, you know, I can answer it if I ha if I have the answer. But, uh, I mean, you know, I'm constantly daily doing research on this stuff, you know, for 15 hours, just all day, pretty much while I'm awake. So I want to keep you updated as quick as possible. Um, you know, hit that sub and, you know, do the thing, whatever, if you want to, it doesn't matter. Uh, so some inside info, I'm just going to read this whole thing and kind of explain it. Uh, some inside info on FUD and fucking with markets by someone who's had blood in their hands many times before. This is going to be decently detailed, so sit down and take your time. I'll also add some proof as I dig through some old drives without doxing any clients, obviously. Uh, so this is, you know, he just replied the whole story. It's not, it's not terribly long, but you know, you can see it. It's, it's that long. So I'll just start. Okay. First, a quick intro. Prior to my move into crypto, crypto, I was a senior executive in a dominant crypto company in one of the most competitive sectors out there. My profit and loss alone was larger than that of some small nation, nation states. We were also highly regulated with over 125 licenses and roughly 100 jurisdictions. All right, this guy, I don't know who he is or what he is, but he's putting some people on blast for this last recent week in crypto. And when I get down to it, you'll see it show, I mean, he shows a, a spreadsheet, like it's ridiculous. All right, in 2016, I YOLO'd into the crypto by launching a full service company covering legal and regulatory solidity development, which is, you know, creating all of the all of the DeFi coins that everybody's like Shiba and Safe Moon and whatever, you know. Marketing and PR, pumping so this is this is these are the four steps basically of what what was going on. You know, legal, figuring out what's that what they can do, how they can manipulate it, you know, what's what's abidable by law. Okay. Solidity development, creating this bullshit you know, to get everybody hyped up and 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 showing that, hey, if you put in your entire life savings, you're going to get you're going to turn into a, a billionaire with ten thousand dollars tomorrow or some. You know, that's basically what's and that fall, fall goes into this marketing and PR pumping your bags to the moon, you know, to the moon. There you go. Let's put that in quotations if I could. Um, because that's the, that's the, that has been the hype for everybody, you know, say, Hey, everybody, and nobody, what's the moon? Nobody knows what, what price range is the moon. Can anybody tell me and, and leave it in the comments if you all agree on the same price? Cause I guarantee probably not one person is going to say, uh, comment the same exact price as another person in those comments. But, uh, I mean, think about it though. I, it's just all a hype game and it's it's not a hype game because the fundamentals have not changed in anything in crypto it's just a hype game right now to for the big cats anyway let me continue I, i'm sorry I'm, I'm i'm just this is crazy all right for the you know otc for the smart money to exit with minimal wreckage which means they get out and they stick you with their big ass bags at a really high price all right, and, and always serve 50 coins, blah, 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 you know, whatever. that They did that and, that and that and that and that. Okay, cool. So let's say let's say you're a hedge fund wanting to – wanting exposure. You're, you're a big, big-ass institution. You got lots, like billions, hundreds of billions of dollars. And you want, you're wanting exposure to Bitcoin but because, you know, it's all the rage right now. And everybody says – and it's the, it's the best, most performing – best performing asset in the history of mankind, uh, you know, to this date. So – uh, the hedge funds they want to get exposure to Bitcoin, all right. But they don't. F they feel like they missed. They feel like they missed an opp a buying opportunity. They're up. They're uh, the price is way way expensive. So they don't want to. They don't. They want to. They want to wait. They want to get in at a better price. You know what I'm saying? If it's sixty thousand and uh, the lowest, the, you know, the 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 projected price is a hundred thousand, you can't even really. You can't even double your money. You know what I'm saying? Like. If you get in at thirty thousand and the price goes to a hundred thousand, you tripled your money. So that's a way better entry point. So <clears throat> cue cue us. What this is you know, this is this is these guys. This is who this guy works for or who he was in cahoots with, and that's why he says cue us. What flavor of the dip would you prefer, sir? 
uh, a flash crash, a liquidity hunt, uh, X, uh, that's a great choice. The end of the bull market, it is. <laughs> Are you like that's just ridiculous. Like they want okay, cool. So they're just they're they're trying to create this this facade that it's we're in the bear market. So okay, so they're these people. This is just him. I don't know if that's their if that's their company or whatever. I just I just okay. So they're gonna crash the markets and allow allow you these people the the hedge fund the fundies we'll call them the fundies you to scoop up cheap sats you know with satoshis which are it's like a the 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 value of uh, Bitcoin to the eight million point zero 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 is one sat, I believe. All right, one Satoshi. So step one, the groundwork. We pay we pay several low tier media outlets to publish bearish news and not promote it in their channels. Uh, it just sits there for now. So like they they go around to like these people that these writers or publishers or that are crap you know they're garbage like the motley fool for instance they they're trash nobody in crypto trusts the motley fool right they probably paid the motley fool like millions of dollars to start publishing all these don't buy doge don't don't buy doge buy these we got five top tier stock picks that are gonna make you a billion dollars in the next 12 minutes no, that's not how. That's that's dumb. Like anybody that knows anything about this just knows that that's just ridiculous and it's, it's whatever. All right, step two. So they they pay these. Uh, step one. They pay these guys like that don't have money or need money or need exposure to write these bogus articles about crypto and how it's 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 about to enter the bear market. Well, yada yada. All right. So step two. Pay several co- uh, contributions to Bloomberg, Forbes, etc. to publish hot takes on the story citing the article. It's easy. A starving the writer meme is re- the starting writer meme is real. They're desperate for fresh content. Compensation is tied to the amount of traffic the stories generate. Okay. So and look here's the list of all of the like the over here this is all the the um the sites or the clients that they paid that's how much they paid them to publish articles so look i mean here's what seven uh four twelve you know shit i don't even want to do that math it's like hundred thousand dollars maybe in all this that they spent to publish articles just over the last week or so to blast blast the bear crash okay so now the content is on some low tier uh news sites um and a few tier ones this, so you know they got they got credit from the they got credit from the big ones from these couple of two that they're you know they're doing the forbes bloomberg yada yada and then they they per, they mass produce it on like all these garbage sites so you got a slight little bit of credibility but then then it it pops up as trending or whatever and so everybody see you know everybody thinks oh my god this is maybe credible and so the next step is or well it's, it's gaining momentum and uh you know it's on all the news sites for and then you know it's starting to get bigger and bigger and then the time to break out the ct influencers uh you know youtubers etc these guys all tweet out or you know tw- twitter influencers tweet out uh the story to variants of uh, uh and with variants of it with keywords that sentiment uh algorithms pick such as such you know as ban hack so they 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 title all these things with ban hack you know bad news yada yada with and then they they tie it into like crypto or bitcoin or whatever doge okay so it's it's now time to tie it all together by initiating a dump via their algorithm which is um, the opposite of the standard otc algorithm in that it looks for the thinnest books on the exchanges which compromises the few price index so basically so like like all the average retailer people that go into Coinbase or Kraken or Gemini or Voyager or Weeble or, you know, they're just the retail investors maybe putting in $100 or $1,000 at a time or something. They have really tiny, like, books that are just going to get just blasted, exacerbated. You know, they're just going to get wrecked if if they're not paying attention and they, they don't know what they don't, you know, they, they're, they're new traders or they're new investors or whatever. Uh, they're going to... They're gonna get wrecked in a dump or a dip. So, so get that's exactly. So retail sees this dump and rush to Twitter to find that you know everybody's the influencers are engrossed in this story, and so they panic sell because 
they're getting liquidated and you know every, pe more people are paying and more the news is just starting to travel 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 and then retail sales cascading stop losses and liquidations finish the job and drive the price uh drive down the price of your order to 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 the where they wanted to buy in the first place so we dump on any rally and keep the momentum high so like right now we're 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 rallying right like look boom we're rallying rally and then they try to push it back down rally you got a double top rally uh and then dump all right they're like nope sorry R try to rally they're trying to hold this is uh this is doge at around 33 cent 30 33 to 35 cents so i can expect soon we're gonna have a breakout uh hopefully up you know and if it goes down for another breakout i mean you got to know by now that it's just straight manipulation and that's that's that guy just proved it he like works for the manipulators and he blasted them on twitter so uh, what that means to me is if they're announcing it there it's probably it's probably going to happen again because to me everybody everybody's going to see that and they're going to think oh well then i guess they can't really do it anymore cuz now they're out there they're bla you know they're on blast everybody knows their their business and well guess what that'd be that'd be a perfect buying opportunity but if you're in the control of a bear market you know that's what everybody's gonna do is gonna buy so you guess what you dump on a rally and you keep that you keep that that positive momentum dumping look at this this is positive momentum like a mofo and then they're like nope sorry let's dump again because they rallied they rallied almost above to where we we're look double bottom that's just that's oh, that's so like and now they're i don't know i feel like this is so stressful right now and it's just annoying how these hedge funds are just trying to come and because they don't care about you they don't care about your ten dollars to eat ramen noodles for the next six months they don't care about you having you know not being able to live your lives because of this pandemic that they probably i don't know i'm not going to get into it um God, I'm so frustrated about this. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Um, leave a comment. I'll get back to you when I get some time. Oh, this is oh, so frustrating.